Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Matthew and today we're doing another showcase. It's been a while since we did a showcase rather than a review. The difference between a showcase and review is that I'm basically just primarily telling a story while I showcase what's here. And in this case, we have the Circle K Godzilla Kong The New Empire uh, kind of like cross promotion cups that were at Circle K for a little while. Um, I want to just stress that uh, just before anyone starts, I got, like, just to kind of begin the story, I knew from the start that they were doing the promotion, like, when it was first announced, uh, because I got, like, an ad for it, and I was pretty hyped, because, truth be told, I'd never actually been to a Circle K before. I don't, I didn't really know what to expect, so, I guess, in a way, God's Own Kong gave me a reason to go to a Circle K. Um, but I didn't go, like, as it was, and I think, like, uh, they were also doing maybe some sweepstakes for it to like go see the movie or something. But at that time, I already saw the movie twice. Plus, I already had all the action figures from the Playmates line, like Wave 1. So, I kind of like had my GXK taste and wait for the next film to come out in <clears throat> 2027. Um, so, I kind of thought I'd I um, just wasn't able to do the promotion. And then, uh, just as uh, we were driving, I looked to my left. There's the Circle K. And it had a little banner that said Godzilla Kong and the New Empire. It's just like, wait, is that promotion still going? And so we go to the Circle K and I find these cups. Um, just for any confusion, I only tried the Kong Crush uh, slushy. I didn't try any of the um, other things because I don't think they had them. I, they didn't have the Kong Breakfast Sandwich. They didn't have the Titan Toffee Crunch Chocolate Bar, because I literally asked for it. And they didn't have the Godzilla Blast. They only had the Kong Crush. Which, hey, whether that's disappointing or cool, that's up to you. But hey, as for like my thoughts on the drink, it's been months. Like, I think I had it maybe... When did I have it? I'm trying to think. I think I had it in April. Honestly, because that's when I like saw it in person. So yeah, I'm going to say it's April. But then I thought, uh, it's now August, so <laughs> this video's been long overdue. And I had it. It was a slushy. It just had Kong's name on it. And so, I mean, good slushy. There's nothing really Kong about it. You can literally just go into your local 7-Eleven and get a slushy and call it Kong and boom. Because Kong's public domain. Wait till Godzilla lapses into public domain. Then you can start calling yourself the... The Godzilla blast all over again. Anyway, um, that's not the point. So when I got home, well, actually, there was uh, we got two cups. I think one was Pepsi, and the other one was the Kong Crush. Um, of course, one was for my mom. She she didn't really want it, so uh, I ended up having both cups. Don't worry, they're both rinsed out, or at least were rinsed out at the time. They've collected a bit of dust since. I'm not drinking out of these. Do not worry. Um, and I'm probably going to be rinsing these out again, because I don't want them to accumulate too, too much dust. Um, but at the same time, uh, when you were, like, really, um, boil it down to this, like, I got these smaller cups. I don't think that they, I think this was it. Like, it was a, while the supplies last, this was it. So, I thought that I got, like, the big color changing, temperature changing cups. That's not what this is. And I'm trying to find where it was. I don't think it was on this one. Um, where was this? Uh, somewhere, oh, right here. You can kind of see where the boiling water, because I put it as hard as I could. Well, not boiling water. It's just really, really hot water. Uh, started, like, melting away the print on this cup. It's just like, wait a minute, this isn't the right cup. So I stopped it, looked up online, and realized, oh, crud, my cup was just too small. So, hey, at least I got some of the GXK promotion. So I can't really give my full analysis on the, um, the foods because I didn't have them. Because in total, again, there was four of them. The Kong Breakfast sand Slamwich, Titan Toffee, ch whatever bar, and then the Godzilla Blast and Kong Crush. But, um, as for the cups, uh, basically have the same print. Uh, we have Godzilla, like, really, really, really stretched out in a kind of, like, red background. 
Kind of ironic that the movie design slimmed him down, but this makes him look like 2014 all over again. Um, we have Godzilla Kong, the new empire. Yes, the axe is silent. Some, like, fighter jets. And then we have, like, a city. More graphics, more destruction. Kong raising up the iron fist, the beast glove, with some uh, helicopters and more, like, blue background. So I guess Kong is the blue. Godzilla has the red. So kind of like an inverse between Godzilla versus Kong. Very interesting. And then we have, like, more of, like, all the legal Momo Jumbo plus, like, a barcode. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it. It's just a plain black cup. It's nothing really special as far as, like, the the detail of the cup is. There's no, like, Godzilla handle, which if you want a Godzilla mug, uh, BioWorld's got you in luck. So, just get theirs, because uh, theirs is an actual Godzilla cup. I'm not saying, like, these are bad or anything. I think that these are nice display items for what they are. If you're a hardcore collector like I am. Well, not really hardcore, hardcore anymore. But still, something that he likes, and you'll collect with Godzilla's face on it. <laughs> or Kong's, even. So, um, with that being said, that's basically my showcase for um, the Circle K experience. I didn't have much of it. I doubt that they're still doing it because the movie's out on digital and streaming. Uh, I think it's out on HBO for you. For, is it out on HBO? Or is that Max? I think it's HBO. Um, whatever, it's out on Warner Brothers, one of Warner Brothers streaming services for you folks in the States. And um, look anywhere else for you international folks uh, who are trying to watch the movie. Don't pirate it. As tempting as that is, don't pirate it. The more money we make for GXK, the more... Of course we're getting a sequel, but the more content we can get. Monarch Season 3, Skull Island Season 2... I don't know, screw Skull Island, that was a mid-anime. It was horrible, screw it. Um, but with that being said, thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys liked it, definitely subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, everyone.